90 Day Fiance is a reality show on TLC that produced some of the most talked about toxic, crazy, and loving couples. People came to the United States on a K-1 visa and have only 90 days to figure out if they want to marry their partners and be with them for the rest of their lives. The K-1 visa requires that the non-U.S. citizen and the American must get married after 90 days are up, or the person who is not from the U.S. must return back home to their country. The hardest thing about being with someone from another country would probably be the cultural differences, family members, and of course, the pressure of having only the 90 days to decide if you want to spend the rest of your life with them. Some couples made it to happily ever after, but others did not. And in today's video, we will discuss the couples who did not end well, so stay tuned. The 26-year-old Louis and the 41-year-old Molly met when she was in the Dominican Republic and got married after the 90-day visa period. Though they secretly married, the choice was not without issue since Molly's relationship with daughter Olivia deteriorated and the couple was prone to bickering and fighting. Despite Louis knowing that Molly had two daughters before he moved to the United States, he was still surprised by how much work it took to be a stepfather. Louis and Molly always argued about his treatment and disinterest in being involved in his younger stepdaughter's life. Their argument also frequently switched to another subject with Lewis insulting Molly's bedroom decor and claiming Molly was not comprehensible and had mixed too many religious totems around the house. They divorced in January 2008 after only six months of marriage. Lewis is now married to another woman which occurred only five months after he left Molly. Why don't you blame your pornography that I caught on Let your phone? Finish. Your bachelor party at the strip club? Premarital well sex? As drinking? Party? Danielle and Mohammed were arguably one of the craziest couples in the show's history, and Mohammed Jabali was a 26-year-old from Tunis, Tunisia. When he arrived in America on a K-1 visa, the couple originally met in an online chat room and got engaged with Mohammed moving back to Norwalk to be with Danielle. Mohammed made a bad impression on all of Danielle's friends when he refused to kiss her when they said I do. It was clear that Danielle was very committed to her marriage, but Mohammed wasn't, and it all seemed like he used Danielle to get a green card. Shortly after their wedding, the couple found themselves twisted in lies since Mohammed claimed to have a job, which was not true. Meanwhile, he discovered that Danielle was committing frauds to get money. Though Danielle initially tried to get the marriage annulled so Mohammed would be deported, she eventually gave in and filed for divorce so he could stay in the country. You backstabbed me this whole time! Ashley and Jay met when she was vacationing in Jamaica, and their relationship was riddled with problems from the start. Ashley caught Jay using a dating app only one day after their wedding in Las Vegas. Though she initially filed for divorce eight months after, she decided to give him another chance and canceled the paperwork. However, that wasn't enough for Jay as he was caught cheating again, only this time Ashley decided to go through with the divorce. There was even a warrant out for his arrest. Ashley claimed that he would be deported on August 7th unless he fleed. She also confronted the other woman he had been seeing via phone where it was revealed that Jay had lied about ever being intimate with her, rightfully angering his ex-wife. Colt was a 33-year-old who lived with his mother and three cats and flew to Mexico to be with the girl he fell in love with through the internet. After Colt met Brazilian beauty Larissa on social media, he decided she was a real deal and the two met in Mexico where he proposed after only knowing her for a few days. After originally appearing on season 6 of 90 Day Fiancé, Colt and Larissa also returned to season 4 of 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after. However, Larissa had a problem with the fact that Colt still with his mother. After filming, Colt was caught sliding into other women's DMs, so Larissa decided to leave him. The pair briefly reunited before splitting again after some trouble with some allegations. Not only did Larissa get divorced, but she also faced the deportion since she had been arrested for domestic violence allegations. That's all we have for today's video, guys. We will catch you next time.